perspective. If I can make one person's day better, then my day's infinitely better. And I think that it's part of the culture here is, you know, you always hear in the service of humanity. That motto has really started to strike home a lot more for me and really thinking critically about, well, how can I be in the service of humanity? It's something that I really do take seriously now. I'm Jordan Thomas. I'm in the class of 2018. I'm a Woodrow Wilson School major pursuing dual certificates in Portuguese language and culture and African American studies. My mother's side of the family are actually immigrants from Portugal. I grew up learning English and Portuguese at the same time. I really could just speak a sort of household Portuguese. And so I decided that I wanted to reach the next level. Portuguese has really come to define uh, my Princeton experience in certain ways, and so I've loved it. Now I can write essays. I spent a whole summer, part of it in Portugal, part of it in Brazil, and um, it really has been one of the better decisions I've made. I first met Jordan when he was a freshman. I was his freshman advisor. And um, from the start, Jordan really stood out as a special kind of student. And one of the things that I really like about Jordan is his humility. Jordan, in fact, is always looking for a way to give back rather than taking for granted what he has here. He's engaged, he's a scholar, he's a citizen. For my thesis, I'll be looking at support services for pregnant and parenting teens specifically in the Newark Public School District. We know now the correlation between education and health, um, you know, education and income, all of these other really important later life outcomes. Uh, I feel like it's very valuable that we make sure that if these girls are dealing with unplanned pregnancies, we still make sure that they have the support they need to uh, complete their education and get their high school diploma. In the end, hopefully we'll have a good sense of what support services and programs are in place for the pregnant and parenting teens in high school in Newark. And um, if there's anything that can ultimately be done to improve the services, hopefully we'll have a good sense of that as well. So after Princeton, I would say that my most immediate plans are to travel to Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar and integrate into their master's program for two years there. After completing the master's program, I then plan to return to the U.S. and go to law school because my longer term plans down the road are to ultimately enter into the policy sphere and uh, run for public office, whether that be at the state or federal level. One thing that I've really taken to heart is never forget where I came from and that, uh, that really Newark shaped me in a number of ways and I couldn't have come here and I couldn't have done the things that I've done here without the special impact that Newark had on me. I feel like one of the most concerning things about lower income minority based districts and schools is that you see students that are really talented and really gifted despite having the qualifications and being you know just as prepared as some of the other students in suburban districts to apply, they decide not to apply. And so I always go to these students and I let them know, no, if you, if you have the qualifications, go ahead and submit that application. You are qualified, you can do the work, and I try to really lead by example in showing them, look, I did this. Hopefully, through the work that I've done here and through the work that I'll continue doing in the future, I'm impacting people in ways that I've never known and extending my reach to people that I'll never know. And there's just something so beautiful about that.